Hello everybody, Luckless Love Locks back with Danganronpa. Uh, so the prologue is over, now I think we're into the game properly. So we're gonna get to see, we didn't see much of the game mechanics yet. So I think we're gonna get a chance to see more of them now. And from the, from the comments you guys are leaving, this game is gonna get pretty serious pretty quick. Uh, right, so I think we might get a bit of a recap here, I'm not sure. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? The pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. Help us pull, uh, pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right, she's right! Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me! I can't forgive myself! Somebody hit me! Punish me! Well, is he... Is he uh, offering his life to us now? <laughs> huh? Jesus. If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but... What is the mission, exactly? Stupid. Idiot. <laughs> you look for a way out, huh? What the...? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But... But, but be before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook? It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright, so then... Fine, then. Uh, let's hurry up and check out that st the stupid rules already. OC Academy e-handbook. Katonagi. Returning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. But just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. <laughs> this should be interesting. Itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Night time is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night. Oh, really? So please exercise caution. Three. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Wonder what the punishment is. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is, is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Oh. Blackened. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! The hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However, but if she, if he got punished like what we saw before, I I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Respawn. <laughs> Mondo's uh, a bit nervous. Yo, I ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And so what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what. 
piece of shit! Well, I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me. But you're saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? That's true. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, well, yeah, I, I guess you're right. Um... Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I'm wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but, but why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. To worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. So don't jab, jab at me. Give me a break. You're more like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or, or whatever. Okay. Now what we know the uh, now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. Hmm. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. For any way out. What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Very forceful. Let's do it! Damn straight! Okay, then let's start looking around! Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? Wait, a why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst? Make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. Wait, 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 hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. Can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear. When that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... but... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What? The fuck that's supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. Couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna kick your ass. Just stop it. We, we shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? Some kind of goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? Got daddy issues. You know, I, I, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Fuck you. He punched me. Motherfucker. <laughs> and I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. Didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. How did I think about it? Maybe I kind of forgotten. What kind of people I'd been trapped here with. A common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Fort finally cut out completely. He's dead. <laughs> and when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Chapter 1, Time Unknown. Ugh, ugh. 
Huh? Oh, where am I? If it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? I have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the X button. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. Certain points, map, and truth bullets may not be available. Truth bullets, what are those? You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the back button to review the transcript. Okay, so we can look back at conversations that guess that we've had. All pertinent info, so you use this to review comments from everyone involved. That's good. Okay, let's look around here. What's this? Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Odd place for that. Doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Of course, bolted windows still. Some kind of metal... Actually, are these over windows though? They look like they're just hanging there like art. Some kind of metal plate mounted here. Got the camera. What's this? It's a notepad. Because the school must have given one to each of us. Looks like there's something in the drawer. Ah, a toolkit. Must be brand new, it's still in the shrink wrap. Looks like, um, like one of those IKEA toolkits. I really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. I can think of a few uses for that. I know we're not supposed to mess with the cameras, but I wouldn't mind disabling it. it must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Means it must be mine, right? Better hang on to it for now. Anything in the garbage? Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Is there like. <laughs> Some kind of bonus for finding all the trash cans? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says. Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, but please make sure not to lose yours. The room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathroom in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. For the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. <laughs> One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head. With any of the tools, should be ample. What? <laughs> Don't think, just feel. And let's all enjoy ourselves. No shit. <laughs> Covered up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Okay, this is the bathroom, I guess. This would appear to be the bathroom. Oh, huh, it's not opening. I guess it's locked? What? Pick up the toolkit now? How about to open the bathroom door? No? Anything else I'm missing? I don't think so. Okay. Let's try going out. Looks like this door leads outside. Locked. But some of the rooms have locks, huh? I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. 
kind of got that <laughs> that idea. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. That answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? Only one way to find out. That's to get out of here. Read. Um, transcript. Okay. Go through the transcript. X. This is the uh, handbook. Presents. No presents. Port card. Okay. We'll find out anything we want to know. Ultimate question mark. Ultimate mystery. Regulation system. Okay. Can't look at the map. Exit. Leave the area? Yes. Stop. Rush out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. <laughs> Punching me again? Ah! Saika? Oh, Saika? Oh. Sorry. Oh. Are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscles jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. Um, but are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. It sort of revealed my lack of cool right there from the beginning. Makoto. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. No, no, nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I, I was kind of worried. Uh, thanks. By the way, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall? The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? That's what's going on, and then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good, I'll, I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Okay, so we can walk around if we want to. Still so can't look at the map, apparently. Here's a room. Sayaka's room. There's some kind of nameplate. The doors themselves all look pretty much the same. Look, here's all the dorms. Same description. Uh, head to the dining hall. Okay. Find the dining hall, shall we? Go. Ha, <laughs> the sign is like hanging. Cool the way the rooms construct. It's supposed to be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it uh, looks pretty clean, so that's good. Er, 
I guess that's not really important right now. Us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, it's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. I don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now? <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously. I just have amazing intuition. Hmm. Is it really just intuition? What's going on there? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. <laughs> right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. The purple words show up. If you press the Y button, you'll get it go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the directional buttons to make a selection and the A button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Hmm. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Reaction. Ah, you've gone ahead and used it already. Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Let's take a look around here. Not much to look at. The standard things. It's quite flat. Hey, um. By the way, Mikado. Oh, what is it? Um... Well, it's... it's just... I know this is kind of... doing the self-instruction thing, but I wanted... To, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, okay. Uh... If I select... Continuing our self-introductions? Uh, um... We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Okay, so you select... Oh, you react to one or the other. Okay, I understand. I thought you got to choose, like, how you wanted to react. Seika wants to ask me something. I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Hey, um... By the way, Mikado? Huh, what is it? Well, it's just... Okay. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Mikado, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? You may be in Class 2? Yeah, actually, I, I was. Ah. I knew it! I went there too. I was in class four, though. You remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow we still knew who I was. Hey, um. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remembered me. <laughs> we went out we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. Average at everything. And all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. S strange, that's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Feel a romance blooming, guys. That's good. Anyway, I'm, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Mikado. No, I'm, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you were the one that helped me find my courage again. 
Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. She says, says things like that, it just gets me pumped up. She's nice, but still. Everyone else is late. It's still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. Be a clock around here somewhere. There is, in fact. Um, so... What time is it right now? What? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. You see? By being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but... I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, oh, Mikado! Sayaka! See so you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad, I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess it just means I don't have fighting spirit yet. Got it. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? See, after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Let's find out what everyone has discovered. <laughs> 